If I had done this intentionally or unintentionally, I'd be the first one to step up and say, I did it. By no means am I perfect, but if I've ever made any mistakes in my life, I've taken responsibility for my actions. I truly believe in my heart, and I would bet my life that this substance never entered my body at any point. That was then, and this is now, Gary. So he goes from betting his life, Ryan Braun, on the fact that he says uh, the substance never entered my body at any point to the quote that you have seen now and his accepting the punishment and saying, I realize now I've made a mistake and I'm willing to accept the consequences of those actions. Yeah, it's Ryan Braun, Milwaukee Brewers, 65 games. And uh, I don't know, that's at least the timing. Milwaukee's out of it and... Uh, so he goes 65 games without pay, finishes out this year, and then tries to start new next year. Okay, but here's the thing. 50 of the games are because of the PEDs. 15 of the games are because of this whole debacle where, you know, he was basically lying and then bringing down a, a, a testing inspector who got fired and called into question the whole sample situation during the successful appeal. And it's like, shouldn't that be more? Should the suspension be more for that whole thing? Yeah, but you know what, what they're doing now is uh, they're negotiating they go back to New York and they negotiate with the uh, with Major League Baseball. Oh gosh, you know I bet it's the, the fact it probably would have been uh, uh, again. This is just what you hear. It yeah. Might have been a hundred games because they would have considered uh, last right. year as uh, the first time it's fifty, second time it's a hundred. So they probably would have considered last year a. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, you know, count that as but, one and then made it a hundred. But here's the thing is you've always told me don't believe anything that comes out of anybody's mouth as far as like coaches go, right? right. Different co Well now, I mean, has there any, has there ever been a denial coming out of any player's mouth who's been accused of this stuff that I could believe? Yeah, that's the one thing I'll say about Bond and I always bring it back to him because of course that's the Bay okay. Area interest, but he didn't say anything. Exactly. You know I mean? Exactly. Just, just. He ended up retiring. That, that, and that's the thing is like, that's the weird thing about it is like when you go into the big song and dance and you're so vehemently denied, it's like just don't say anything and then you get called later and now, and now you've got this whole other side to it. Um, you know, Aaron, look, you're bringing down friends like Aaron Rodgers who believed him so much that he came out. Do you remember that? And he came, I bet my salary. This guy didn't do it. He's a friend. He's. Well, here's, here's another one. There was a uh, the poor guy who delivered the test. Yes. Uh, I, I don't know if you remember this part of it, but uh, he got in all kinds of trouble because his supposed test last year, they said, was handled ill, uh, uh, Ill properly. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes, and that's what I'm saying. He, he managed to, you know, impugn the system and other people and bring down everybody so that he could say, oh, it's a little Lance Armstrong-ish. Yes, exactly. Actually, isn't that, it? That, that's, that's the thing. I'm that's just the, thinking. Right now in this world, that's the worst thing you can say is it's like Lance Armstrong oh. because <laughs> this guy lied and right. it's one thing to hurt yourself, but he hurt a lot of other people too. That's, so that's, that's it. Thing. And so now this morning, everybody's going to like turn another, waiting for that other shoe to drop, right? So it's like, will, will, you know, is it Bartolo Colon, the A's? Is it, is it, of course, the big, the big foot giant in the room, the elephant A-Rod? You yeah, know what well I mean? That's, that's if you... Follow this stuff. Supposedly, Alex Rodriguez was seen coming out of baseball's uh, major league's office in New York on Friday. Yeah. And uh, again, I'm just like everybody else reading it, but they said looked like he looked white as a ghost. Looked like he'd just been shot. You know. And you don't like. And uh, there's another thing I know about you that you always tell. You don't like the conspiracy theories either. But now, Gary, are you starting to go? Hmm. All right. Is he even injured? Why didn't he come back? Is yeah. he trying to do this thing to get his money and through insurance and say he can't play before he gets suspended? Yeah, well, the Yankees want to get rid of him. There's no question. They're going to have to rebuild their team anyway. Jeter's old, and this guy probably can't play uh, very effectively. So, so right. they wanna, they've got over $100 million. No, no, con conspiracy theories when they're you know, a, like a fan would say, I think this is happening. Right. Or even the media guessing. Right. But when you have, you know, Ryan Braun, and you've got him coming out, Rodriguez, right. uh, in New York on Friday. Right. And he says he was going to be ready Monday. That's not conspiracy. That that apparently is factual. Yeah, that can maybe connecting the dots, and yeah, we'll see yeah. where that leads next. So don't paint me into a corner. No, 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 no. I, I wouldn't do that, baby. Okay. <laughs> you remember that movie. All yeah, right, uh, what, about, <laughs> what about baby? I'm thinking Timmy, my Timmy. Yeah. I mean... I, I, I still stand by him, okay? I won't, but what do you, what do you, I mean, how could he possibly give it up more? Nobody cares whether you're standing by him. <laughs> but I know, but how do you go 
no, from the no-hitter no. to this. Hey, how, how can I tell you something? That what? was cute, and I've done that, too, where you say... <laughs> Before you even go to the, his highlights or what he did, I'm standing, I'm standing by. by. Nobody but, cares. Well, you go know ahead. what? You 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 always you know you get upset that I that I'm a Fairweather fan. Fairweather fan. But, you watch the game. What? The, yes, I'm not. I, I'm I'm definitely the opposite of that. But this was the opposite of a no hitter, and I want you to even try to explain it. I mean, how does that happen? He gave up three home runs and uh, eight runs on nine hits. Yeah. In less than three innings. And he, what, listen, what people keep saying now is, well, when he's no hitter, which was what nine days ago, right? He threw 148 pitches. Yes. Now, normally you throw about 100, and they take you out. That, that maybe he threw too many pitches. But, but but I'm telling you, his quote was, "I felt as well as I did on previous starts," and he called it a little bump. Yeah. Well, what, what do you want him to say? Uh, to break down he and collapsed. <laughs> Yeah. No, yes. no, but my thing is that 148 <laughs> pitches in the no-hitter, is, is it's everybody's, a lot. oh, he threw too many. Yeah. Well, what are you going to do if you're a competitive person and you have a no-hitter? Right. They, you're not going to take you out of the game. Yeah, I, 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 I understand that. Yeah, and then, so I, I, I just don't think the Giants are good enough this year. Wow. Well, they got the double-header. Talk about, you know, a lot of baseball. Today, that's a lot of baseball they got to play today. Yeah, why don't you go out there if you're a fan? Well, go I'm only a fair way. <laughs> I'm only a fair weather fan, yeah, and it's going to be a little cloudy yeah. and maybe even a little rainy, I think. I don't know if I'm going to like that. Well, you know why they're playing a doubleheader? There was one game in Cincinnati rained out, so I believe the second game, the Giants will wear road uniforms and the Reds will be the home team. Okay, you very good. It's you know what? Either way, it's too much baseball for me. Yeah, I probably you know. I'm, I'm giving you information. You're already <laughs> bored. You're ready to move okay. on. I'm lost. Yeah, if the Giants are winning, you that's fascinating. Tell me more. <laughs> all but, right, all right. Hold on. Tell me about. And I don't really understand. We talk about the PEDs. This player that was supposed to go to the 49ers. Yes. Now this thing is void. Eric Wright, and he too, he was suspended for PEDs. He was arrested recently here for DUI. So now, if the trade's void, I, I don't understand. What is that? What is that? mean now well that means you send him back to Tampa Bay but they don't want him and when they then they get rid of him right but, uh, you the 49ers were giving them a future draft choice now they get the draft choice back ah uh, okay so that's it they didn't exchange players the 49ers uh, gave up a draft choice so now the guy they got the guy out here they uh, you know he goes hey there's a DUI on his record maybe they didn't know about and right. they said, hey, he's not good enough and you put Kaepernick up on the screen and Harbaugh is final words were it must have been a slow news day for you guys to make oh. a big deal over him and the dolphin cap well you know what i believe everything that he says Harbaugh? i believe everything that harbaugh says right well that I believe one he every may be right <laughs> in this case the one time all right thanks gary we'll see you later okay dara <laughs>